did Patrick's homework? Patrick never did homework. Too boring, he said. He played baseball and basketball and Nintendo instead. His teachers told him, Patrick, do your homework or you won't learn a thing. And it is true, sometimes he did feel like a dangling. But what could he do? He hated homework. Then on St. Patrick's Day, his car was playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll at all, but a man of the tiniest size. He had a little wool shirt with old-fashioned breeches and a high tall hat which like a witch. He yelled, save me, don't give me back to that cat. I will grant you a wish. I promise you that. Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Here was the answer to all of his problems. So he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester, that's 35 days, if you do a good enough job, I could even get A's. But little man's face wrinkled like a dishcloth thrown in the hamper. He kicked his legs and doubled his fist and he grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips. Oh, am I cursed? But I will do it. And true to his word, that little elf began to do Patrick's homework. Except there was one glitch. The elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help. Help me, help me, he'd say. And Patrick would have to help in whatever way. I don't know this word, the elf squeaked while reading Patrick's homework. Get me a dictionary. No, what's even better? Look up the word and sound it out by each letter. When it came to math, Patrick was out of luck. What a time table! The elf shrugged. We elves never needed that. And addition and subtraction and division and fractions. Here, sit down beside me. You simply must guide me. Elves know nothing of human history to them it's a mystery so the little elf already a shouter just got louder go to the library i need books or and more books and you can help read them too as a matter of fact every day in every way the little elf was a knack patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag he was staying up nights had never felt so weary was going to school with his eyes puffed and blurry finally the last day of school arrived and the elf was free to go as for the homework there was no more so he quietly and slyly slipped out of the back door Patrick got his A's, his classmates were amazed, his teachers smiled and were full of praise, and his parents. They wondered what had happened to Patrick. He was now the model kid, cleaned his rooms, did his chores, was cheerful, never rude, like he had developed a whole new attitude. You see, in the end, Patrick still thought he'd made that tiny man do all his homework. But I will share a secret just between you and me. It wasn't the elf. Patrick had done it himself.